Shanti, my question is about my work environment, which is sometimes very stressful and deals with um, very um, uh, unaware people who are very driven by money and power. Yes. And in my dealings with them, I, I try to deal with it in a way that I, I get growth from my lack of response um, to their egoic, you know, outreach. But uh, it still disrupts my energy. And so I find myself mm -hmm. wondering, my own internal search for peace and clarity is met by such stressful situations, but that is all in the search for the creation of abundance. And I have trouble integrating all of those yes. concepts. So the fundamental thing to remember, uh, we are the subject and the world is the object. Just fundamental thought that is in the new book. We are the subject and world is object. Subject can exist without objects. Objects cannot exist without subject. To clarify it, I see the world. Right? My eyes see the world. I close my eyes, world disappears. So eyes are the subject, world is the object. The, Things so just one sense, same way, I consciousness is the essence because without subject, you cannot even say a sentence. So keep yourself in focus and everything else out of focus. It becomes out of focus. But when we pay so much attention to the objects or anything outside, people things or situation, then we are giving them power, so we are selling ourselves. So the answer is to be strong, okay? To be strong, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Get clarity, this is the goal. Just simplest example, what gravity means? Sun has greater gravity, so earth revolves around the sun. Earth has greater gravity than the moon. Moon revolves around it. When you create gravity, the world will follow. And that is the principle of quantum physics. That we are the co-creator of our destiny. That means if we build the strength, we project that. So we become the co-creator and world behaves accordingly. But when we give into that because of attachment, fears, expectation, then we get sucked into it. So the real practice is to meditate and do everything to be strong. World is a school. To learn a lesson, you start learning a lesson from kindergarten. You know, you start learning A, B, C, then words and sentences. But if you go straight into fifth grade in reading, you get failure. So we have to deal with the world. So handle the situation which are easy to handle. So get into the situation when you can handle each situation. Then as you evolve, you can handle tough situation. But if you are in the profession that disturbs your peace, change the profession. Change the style in which you do it so that you are under your control all the time. Then you build up more. You know, some people go in the business, you know, like we did, health food store. We just started small and built as time went on. But some people go in the business, you know, they go in the business, they have high expectation, so they invest some money, fix the place, order the things and they cannot meet their obligation to pay the rent and they go out of business. Just a crude example. So within your capacity, handle the situation. Then you build confidence because if, if you get frustrated with one situation, it leaves an impression. So it's in the mind and the next time you venture, mm -hmm. it comes in the <clears throat> way. So clarify, clarity and build up more confidence that I am the co-creator. All the meditation should be in line. I choose the direction. Nobody chooses for me. But we allow that to happen. 
Okay. Yeah. So getting stronger. So any way you can be. And we can be licking the energy, you know, just like a little bit here, a little bit there. Everything is built with persistence. A drop of water at a time overnight fills up the tub. A drop of water on a rock over thousands of years cuts a hole through it. Mm -hmm. Same way we have to be careful. So first thing to set priority. In this, uh, in this book I think I have given the formula for success in a short form, see if I can find it, that anything you want to accomplish, this is the general formula that applies. Hmm. The first thing is, is how to have clarity of what you want, then you need love for it, then uh, be persistent, sacrifice whatever necessary for it. So, set priority, sacrifice everything for it, sustain enthusiasm, satsang, you know, just enthusiasm, patience and perseverance and make it undercurrent. That means it's in you all the time. Because otherwise you get inspired and then energy goes down. So these are all the factors. I find I will tell you the page number. But these are all in summary form. So everything... And in the book, you know, those quantum physics books, it's just that how can we project our destiny because we don't know how we are leaking our energy. Mm. So, so, how to set priority, how to create surplus, all these are the basic tools. Okay.